Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, uh, March 27, 7.44 a.m. Eastern Time. So, unfortunately, yesterday I wasn't able to create the market wrap. I, had, I, I need to do, I, need to, I, I did my tax. So, I left the accountant at like almost 10 p.m. So, guys, uh, what I, I, I summarized to you guys yesterday, you know, the voice vo, vo skill resistance supposed to be 5,205. So, remember during the intraday, Yesterday, I removed the WhatsApp so you guys can see. In some moments, you know, the vol skew uh, gave us a bounce today, right? Hold on, it's a little bit slow. It's over here. So, uh, exactly to where at 1.41 p.m. Eastern Time. So, the volatility skew... Just check the closed group, show us, you know, a bounce today, but didn't change, you know, uh, uh, another date, you know, especially, you know, after tomorrow up to, to, to next Friday. So, uh, today agenda is really calm, you know, we don't have anything special, but, you know, start to be like a very important uh, agenda Thursday and especially Friday, I mean, uh, Fridays and Friday, remember, we don't have market okay we market doesn't open okay it's closed it's a holiday so remember volatility skills you know at 142 yesterday suggests there's a bounce today and also it's totally normal you know dealers never sell low dealer always sell high and if they already know the economic agenda the macro events that supposed to be impact the market, they will not, you know, dump the market before the data, right? Of course, they will melt it up. Sell high. Never sell low. Sell high. Okay? Uh, just give me a second. Uh, yeah, also yesterday, yesterday, um, what time was? So yesterday, it started at 225, you know, such spread start to print. What was the spread? Just check, you know, the closed group, 225. They sold 5,300 5, call and bought 5,300 put, break even 5,232. I put over here, and consequently, you know, the market was traded between 5,228 and 5,229, remember? And, and then you saw a drop and then another jump. Right? Up to 5,229. And I told you guys, that's important to see market close below 2,228 to certify if this spread was a bearish spread. And consequently, you saw a dump and market close at 5,203. So for today, what I wrote to you guys, okay? Uh, the first, you know, resistance is supposed to be the vol skill level, 5,205. And then per and flow, 5,215. Okay, that's what they suggest is uh, the next level of resistance and the maximum upside target, the break even of such a spread, right? The break even of such a spread, 5,232. And as you guys see, you guys have been obs observing, you know, 5,235 have, have been rejected since we talked at 5,206. I'm not telling that we could go up. I, I also was expecting, you know, to see a melt up, up to 5,207, 5,280. But anyway, yesterday at 3 p.m., I created like a hypothetical scenario because, you know, the book that you have for tomorrow, and tomorrow is when dealers that are long gamma need to roll out, roll over your, their contract. So, they are holding over 4,300 and keep long gamma, or they will start to do hedge. We don't know, right? And I give some options. In my point of view, of course, they were long gamma at 5K. But my doubt is, they are long gamma at 5,200. If not, we could see a dump 
tomorrow. And you could see market closing between 5,130. So today, today for me is a very good, uh, uh, a good uh, important day, especially if we close below 5,115. Okay? Then we could see a sell-off tomorrow. Okay? You'll be bearish if you close below 5,215, 5,210. Okay? Anyway, let's check what we have in the option book right now. Oh, let me show first the volatility skill. One second, folks. Oh, the volatility skill is still like, you know, it prints like a bearish smirk, okay? It's, it's, it's printing a, a, a bearish, very bearish smirk. Of course, they change the levels, 5,109. Oh, no, they are updated, sorry. But you know, they still the same levels as yesterday. But it looks, you know, that's a bearish, a bearish volatility skill. So look, you know, at 5,220, you know, that's the level that uh, futures are already printing right now. Uh, the calls imply volatility, you know, is dropping. It's not going higher, right? It's not going higher. So this move, this two-day movement, could you be a trap? Of course, that could you be a trap. Right, and as I said in the at the beginning of this uh, morning call, uh, usually they need to how can uh, pump the market, you know, prior a economic a, a very you know uh, important you know data day that we will be releasing you know, economic data that's supposed to be Thursday and Friday. It's, uh, remember that Friday. Remember that Friday. Uh, we. Don't have markets, and also tomorrow is the quarter expiration. So, also for those that are long gamma, totally makes sense to melt up, you know, the market today to close their position higher as possible. You know, that's you know the scenario. But look that the volatility skill is not bullish at all, even with a 20 points gap up, right. It's a 20 points gap here. But anyway, so far, so far, the levels have been respected. Maximum upside target, 5,230, 32, according to the odds. So look at what we have in the book right now, okay? So the gamma design is a little bit changed, and consequently, you know, the delta as well, because they put gamma uh, above, before it was clean, and they remove gamma below, right? So let me adjust over here, and then you have a better vision regarding today. So, since we are open at 5,220, we are still in a negative gamma. Positive gamma above 5,230. So, squeeze start above 5,230. But remember the order, the, the order, the call spread, right? The, uh, that starts to print that to, to something. Papa to, uh, to 25. So, break even, 5,232. So, make sense if they want to sell, they don't allow market to bring, to, to bring market above 5,230. Right? Because they want to keep selling. But it's totally normal to bring nearby 5,230, 5,225, and they start to sell. Remember, negative gamma, sell weakness by Halids. So they start to buy above 5,230. Okay? That's the pattern for negative gamma. But for the spread is printed yesterday, suggests us that the maximum upside target is 5,232. Of course, you know the guy you not allow market to go nearby. 10 points spread, look for 5,222. 5,222. Okay, as you can see, regarding the delta levels, we have a divergence, you know, starting uh, at 5,225 because you have negative delta, but you have uh, sorry, negative gamma, but we have positive delta. So, according to the structure, 
divergence 5225 and the spread printed yesterday 5225 supposed to be the rejection area okay supposed to be the rejection area so look that the minus gx move again from 5200 uh, for 5,210. So, tend to be the support. Okay? Tend to be the support. Remember, I don't expect a big candle. I'm still expecting like small candles. As yesterday. 14 points, 5 points, 10 points, not like 50, 30 points. Why? Why I'm getting that? Because, let me open the squeeze matic and then you guys will... C. Because you know the GX is still higher, right? It's still higher. So to make to move the market, especially because they have been distributed distributing since December, you know, and I have been showing you guys that, that dealers that is not willing to buy anymore because we never have been seeing the, the DIX above 48%. Even back test 50% have been fluctuating uh, uh, between 46% and 41%. They have been adding the liquidity and we see a spike in the market. They have been, re sorry, they have been adding liquidity and then you know we have been seeing you know spiking going uh, markets going up starting going up and then going down and close green right and when they remove liquidity we have been seeing like a really spike in the market right green big green but you know the gx have been uh printing to be to see a big candle you know below four billions below 4 billions they remove liquidity they keep you know higher but below 4 billions and then you see like a spike but lower liquidity and higher gx i don't expect you know big candles because you know the setup is to sell high and not to buy low right especially because it's a is already gapping up it's already gapping up and you know they structure the structure is still showing us a sell, not a buy, and also it's not a squeeze too, right? Because they didn't remove GX. They didn't accelerate the market. They didn't accelerate the market, okay? So, we are a review. The volatility skill is not bullish at all. So, current, you know, flow, delta, gamma is also not bullish at all. Delta flow is still negative. Volatility skill curve is still better. She's a better. She's milk. So, uh, per structure, we supposed to be see a rejection between 5,220. Start at 5,225. A maximum upside target 5,230. I don't expect 5,230 because the put spread that we printed yesterday. And also, you guys have been seeing a rejection at 5,230 and 5,235. That so far is a sell point by the dealers. Could you be changed tomorrow? Of course, could you be changed tomorrow? And depends, you know, how market you close today, right? Closing below 5,215, 5,210, you know, the market tends, tends, you know, to top be already defined at 5,260, okay? But if you close, you know, between 5,230, below 5,230, but above 5,220, Yes, yeah, a squeeze up to 5,207, 5,280 could, could still be in the table. And remember what I highlighted to you guys regarding the quarter expiration over here. The key, the key question is, they are long 5,200 or they are not long 5,200? They uh, wanna hold over you know, the long gum, or they want to start to build a hedge. Okay? That's the key, key question. Okay? So, uh, anyway, uh, the last thing. 
in pre-market, some, you know, lower delta orders start to print. I'm showing to you guys. You wait for the refresh. Those are the first at the beginning over here in purple. So the break even since they bought 5,260 put, for example, looks that's no condition. It was naked. It's a minus one delta. Okay. The break even for, for uh, is 5,230. So the break even for those orders is 5,230. So dealers are telling us that they are willing to sell at 5,230. So for those that are buying those puts, I always work with 10 points spread. You know, they are looking to see markets closing below 5,220. Okay? See you guys soon. Take care.